How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Uh, today I'm excited. We get to start video one of how to create your own uh, whole house AV system. And if you were staying tuned into the last previous videos, uh, this is where we're going to utilize an old Windows notebook or an old desktop. We're going to have it plugged in near your modem. And then we're going to use a device, um, something like a NVIDIA Shield TV, or maybe you got like an Android box, an Apple TV, a Roku stick, um, maybe even you got a smart TV that you can maybe use a Cat6 to, to go to another device or, or try to do it wirelessly. I believe it this does work wirelessly too. And we are going to use a program called uh, Kodi to basically access all this information so we can stream it on any TV that we want. It's a, a fantastic, this is a goodie for um, people who got kids, you got teenagers, uh, you got a bunch of different people in the room, you know, you got uh, a movie that everybody can watch and, a, and, and all these different types of rooms. This is a, a great tutorial. Uh, stay tuned, you wanna learn how to do this. This is gonna be uh, episode one, we're going to try to keep these um, <clears throat> a little under 15 minutes. So <clears throat> let's jump into this. All right. First, we are going to need a few things. So pause this, take a look at what you're going to need, and then you can jump into this. So first off, we need a, a Windows notebook or an old desktop and this is going to be next to your modem always powered on and then you're going to have a cat 6 ran to the modem so so basically your network your devices are all going to be on one network and they're going to be able to access your uh notebook to be able to get to you know your your um your media content uh second thing you're going to need you are going to need an, either an external or internal hard drive, and I suggest using a solid state um, SSD drive. And I got a website pulled up from uh, Best Buy, and they Best Buy has a lot of stuff, and you don't have to spend a hundred dollars. They do have some for sixty and and. Uh, 80 90 it's a wide range so just keep in mind if you're gonna notebook you're gonna need an external one a uh, two terabyte drive for 59 and, and wow they cut that in half almost so that's pretty good um, like I said before you're gonna need all your media that you want shared you can throw it on here and it's easier to access it this way and a solid state drive is, is pretty snappy so it's going to be able to access this information and, and play it back on the devices pretty quick. Um, you're going to need, you know, any kind of movies. Um, I say any movies, uh, any old music, your MP3s, your movies, uh, MP4s, your, what else? There was something else. Oh, any like um, cell phone. So you got your cell phone videos and whatnot. Um, what I would suggest is throwing, and I'm going to jump back to this before I go over this. So let's go jump back to this. So make sure that your, your external hard drive is broken down in the folder. So you're going to have a movie folder and we'll just say movies. Um, music and maybe your uh, personal we'll say personal videos and and we're gonna say pictures pictures if I could spell it right there you go and the reason why this is because when you access through through the through the program you're gonna have to select certain things and and what I would like to do in, in my case it's up to totally up to you user preference I like to keep my movies separate than my personal videos because what it's gonna do it's gonna basically clutter up everything 
and it's going to look kind of silly. You're going to have uh, movie artwork with uh, a first screenshot of a video you took when you were playing with the kids in the park, and it's just all jumbled up. So you want to make everything separate. It, it's um, it's better to do it that way, and especially you're going to have like a picture folder, and, and we're going to go into great detail on this in the, the, the Cody program, which is it's it's very good. I, I love it. I've been using it for about uh, maybe seven years now, so it's a, it's a pretty good program. Uh, let's jump back into the solid state drives. So yeah, you want to get your solid state drive. That's going to be plugged into USB. More than likely, it's going to need power um, unless it's powered by the USB. So star, store your storage for all your media. Make sure at, at a minimum, I would say, keep it at a solid state drive. Um, just make sure they say solid state. Some of them, yeah, here we go. See, this is a solid state. So get something like that. And make sure it's it's pretty big so you're not filling up your you know this uh external hard drive because it you will fill it up very fast believe it or not two terabytes is a lot but when you start adding stuff that's three and four gigabytes and these movies and your and your cell phone stuff now it's they're filming in 4k so your a 10 minute video on 4k could be almost you know five gigs worth of space so it'll max this out very fast um then after this we're gonna need a media device so there's probably hundreds of devices you can get out there um i prefer the nvidia shield tv it's got a lot of uh ram in it it's very fast i love this the, the built-in like software in it it's really snappy um they do have tons of android boxes too that you can buy um, I've never tried this on Apple TV. I was looking into it the other day. It says you're able to download Kodi, and if you use this with uh, Windows, I think you'll you'll still be able to access your external dri hard drive for the network. Um, I haven't tried it, but it does work on Android devices. Um, so going back on to uh, Best Buy, there's you, there's tons of things you can buy. There's the more expensive NVIDIA Shield, there's 16 gigs of RAM. It's 4K, 4K HDR streaming. Um, the literal one, I, I buy these for my kids' rooms because they're not really hardcore usage like my living room, which I have this one right here. Plenty of RAM in it. Uh, this one have 8 gigs. They don't have any problems with this. They're really not utilizing the potential of it. They're more like apps and stuff like that. So... They utilize this, but there is tons of stuff you can buy. You can buy the, I mean, I forgot to mention, there is the Chromecast 2. I believe you can access Kodi on that now. I haven't really played with that, but there's the Apple TV. There's there's tons of stuff that you could buy, but you do need a device, and I suggest using the HDMI. You're going to, the device with the HDMI on it, you're going you're to get the best picture out of this. And fin finally, last is the co uh, program Cody so Cody is a a basically it's like a, a free program where you can it, it's not like Windows but you can host stuff on there you can get stuff from your network kind of use it like a, a it's, it's almost like a personal phone on your on your computer you can access files you can play movies to play music does a lot ton of stuff great great program there is a lot of negative stuff about it because in pirate video days, this was used to access uh, pirate websites and, and they're like direct domains to, to different networks around the world where you can stream movies for free and stuff like that. So it does have a bad rep, but the program itself, if you don't utilize any of those functionalities it's it's actually great for a whole house AV system and, and it's it's difficult at first but you play with it and you get to know it and you could do some really cool uh, cool things with this all right so I am going to end this video and the next video we're gonna show you how to set up your notebook to be able to create a network in your house of computers and what this is going to do is 
you're going to have your notebook that's directly plugged into your, your modem. So this is going to act like your, your AV system and your devices such as your, your Android box, your Apple TV are going to be able to access that through your network to be able to get to your external hard drive that houses the folders for your media content, which is your movies, music, personal videos, and pictures. Once you get access to that, anywhere you put this device in your house, you now have access to that content. Like I was saying before, this is great for the kids. Um, you you um, bought a new movie and you know you can only watch it in one place because there's a Blu-ray player or, or whatnot. Um, you can you most of the movies now you can download you get the digital one digital content for free and you can be able to store that on your device and then that way all your um, your content is now shared throughout the whole house anybody can access it very neat um, if they don't do that no more meaning the movie makers do not give out an actual physical copy because the the way it worked before is you you get a download code and you get the movie which is an a dot mp4 so it's your movie now if they don't do that no more i because i don't do that at all i actually legally you're allowed to convert one movie for a backup and and that's legally you're allowed to do that and i can i'm gonna post a video on how to do that if you guys if you're not allowed to download the MP4, um, MP4 movies no more. So I could show you how to do that, but there's also, again, you got your photos, your personal videos from your cell phones, uh, and your music. So there's other things you can do with this as well. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're going to be doing the uh, video two on how to set up uh, the network in your home with the Windows notebook and your external hard drive. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.